Oh, you can't hear it. I was hoping to play a new song for anyone who's here now, but... Well, maybe you can hear it and I can't hear it. Oh, yeah, you can. What do you think of this? I'll explain a bit more about it in a minute. There we go. I'll go on full screen. So that song that you just heard there, that was actually made for me by someone... I don't even know who they are, just someone who watches my channel. And um, someone on my Discord said that their friend made a song based on my theme tune. And they sent it over to me and I was just amazed. It was so cool. So thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot remember what your username is, unfortunately. But Ready for Clarity over on Discord actually sent it to me. Um, apparently their name was Mark. And that is all I can glean from that DM message. So Mark, thank you so much. Anyway, hello everyone. It's been a few weeks uh, since I did my last one of these streams and I've got, very excitingly, four brand new games for various different systems this time. Not just the Game Boy, so we have Xeno Crisis for the N64, which is really cool. And I do actually have another N64 homebrew game as well, which I haven't tried yet either, which was the big to small release. And now that I've actually modded my Japanese system down there, I can actually play American games in it too. We have this one here called Inky and the Alien Aquarium for the Game Boy Advance. And I don't know anything about this one. Let me know whether you know anything about this one. We also have Andro Dunos 2 for the Dreamcast. Obviously this came out right at the end of the 3DS's life. So it's really cool to get the Dreamcast version as well, but I have some thoughts about this. Maybe we'll play this one next. After the N64 game, we're going to start with that. And then we also have this game here, which I also have no idea about. This one is called Demons of Asterborg. Well, I do have kind of an idea because I watched Steeker's video on it, but yeah. Anyway, as for the game we're going to start off with, it is Xenocrisis. And there's a look at the cartridge. It's really cool to see a brand new... N64 cartridge. Look at that, really nice. A few differences on the back. As you can see, it actually says Bitmap Bureau on there. Obviously, I'll go into more detail in my full video, but while we're here, let's have a look inside the box. We can check out the instructions that are in there as well while we wait for a few more people to join. So, I presume it's in full colour? Yes, it is, and it's even got a nice little intro story screen sequence thing to go along with it which is really cool that's always cool to see how to play a bit about how the controls work a bit about the different characters so that's really nice to have an n64 game with a complete like full size font color instruction manual as well and i'm going to put that back in there to keep it safe so yeah really really cool to have this and i've finally got a way of actually playing these homebrew n64 game so let's go and pop it in the system and 
I'll swap over to that screen. So fingers crossed it appears over there in a second. Anything? Yes. Oh my god. I think that's the first time ever that something's worked straight away on stream. And we've got sound. Fantastic. We have a code red distress signal from And we have some voice acting too. We have no time to lose, Lieutenant. Dispatch a squad of our finest marines. Actually pretty rare to have voice acting in an N64 game. I think I need some better cables for the N64. I can see all sorts of like weird scrolling artifacts. Anyway, this is Xeno Crisis for the Nintendo 64. Let's check out what options we've got. Easy and hard. Obviously, we'll play on hard. Be rude not to. We've also got some audio options. Music on or off. Obviously on. The music's actually fantastic in this game as well, by the way. I played it a little bit um, off stream just to get a hang of it. Here's the controls. Um, I, I was fine with them as they were. And it does actually save onto the controller pack as well. So let's get started with player one. There's a choice of two different characters. Um, Actually, let's consult the manual. Oh yeah, let me know. Let me know in the chat whether the sound is too loud or too quiet. It's always hard to judge. So let me know whether you can hear me and you can hear the game. Okay. Um, as far as I can tell, both the characters play the same. It's just a different appearance. But there you go. Anyway, let's try out this guy here, Marine, the man. Behold a bud! Hey, you just joined my Discord, didn't you? Just found you on YouTube and been binge watching videos since you've been sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you've been sick. But, uh. What have I done? Something's going weird with the control. I think I've pulled it out. Maybe I accidentally changed the controls while I was looking through the settings. That is not how it played last time I tried. Let's try again. Hey, Gion's here. Thank you. Hello. And thank you for, for becoming a Patreon. I did notice that the other day. I really appreciate that. Right, let's check if the controls are the right way around this time. Yeah, what have I done? Why are the controls different? Bear with me a second, I've got to figure out what's going on here. I've changed it so the controls always fire in place, but I don't want it like that. And I've got so many wires attached to everything as well. I've been looking at getting wireless controllers for all my retro systems back there because literally, I don't know if you can see the wire there, it's right at the end of how long the wire can be. Uh, six buttons. Okay. That might have been what I did wrong. I accidentally put it on three buttons. Alright, let's try again. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. So basically, the way it works is you use the C buttons to aim in that direction. So if you press left or right, it fires to the left or right. And yeah, this game is just so cool, especially especially uh, later on. It's got some really awesome boss fights as well. And you can press the Z button on the back to do the dodge too. But yeah, let me know whether the sound's okay. Let me know whether the game's loud enough, too loud. I feel like it might be a little bit too loud. Let's try that. But just listen to how awesome this music is. So good. Ah, 
and that heart that fl flashes up at the start. That's how much health you've got for the stage. Um, and I actually got this game for free. The um, Maybe it's a tad too loud. Let's try there. How's that? Yeah, as I, as I was saying, I actually got this game for free because I bumped into the publisher while I was at LL last weekend. And he was like, hey, you got an N64? Yeah. Do you want a game for it? Sure. And he just gave me this? How cool was that? What a great guy. With no expectation of a video or anything. He literally just handed it to me. The perks of being invited to gaming events. That was on the Friday before the show opened. We were at um, like a pre-show meetup. Which was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, hear how he says thank you then. That's like almost exactly uh, like Metal Slug. Hey, it's like it's like Resi 4. I've just been playing Resi and the um, the shooting gallery has a section that's based on the shotgun and you have to try and shoot three things at once. Yes, Mike Tucker. I couldn't remember his name. And hey Quang, how are you? He actually did the um, the homebrew panel that I recorded at Play Expo. Oh, ah. God damn it. I didn't know Mike actually designed it. I thought he was just the publisher for the game. That's even cooler. He definitely has good taste. Right, I have to do a lot of dodging to uh, kill this boss. I did manage to do it yesterday off stream. Because I was testing something for Darren, who's the uh, editor, I think, for Retro Gamer Magazine. And for some reason, his copy that he's reviewing in the magazine doesn't save. So, when I reload after dying for the second time, I'll show you what I mean. It's pretty lenient. You get, like, four um, continues, which is pretty good. I can't show you on the boss. I'll show you on the next level. But basically, it, it keeps track of your high score. But by default, it's 69,000. Or 68,000, something like that. And for him, every time he reset the system, it just kept showing that. Oh my god, I really suck at this. Okay, last try. Yay, just as I ran out of ammo. I really love the controls on this, so... It's, it's going to be difficult for me to show you the controller, but basically you move with the analog stick, and you press up, down, left or right on the C buttons, and that's the direction that you face. Engaged aliens, hostiles, and took care of their little friend. Now proceed into the facility. So this is pretty cool. You get to upgrade stuff between rounds. Let's give ourselves some extra health. And some extra power, and we have seven left. I can get another grenade, or I can increase maximum speed. Oh, cool. Yeah, this kind of has a Carmageddon vibe, I guess. Is it bad that the first time I ever played Carmageddon was on the Gizmondo? And I genuinely enjoyed it as well. I want to get the N64 version, but I hear that one's terrible. Oh, I haven't had this gun before. It is very Metal Slug. With the, uh, the weapon choices. Or maybe... Uh, Contra. I've never actually played Smash TV either, which I think is the game that was inspired. That this was inspired by, or the other way around, should I say? That inspired this. Smash TV makes aliens. Yeah, there's there's an Amiga game called Alien Breed as well, which I'm kind of familiar with, and I think that shares some similarities too. I think it's called Alien Breed. Weirdly, at uni, I had an assignment to turn the 
Alien Breed Amiga game into a board game slash card game. I always remember that was a bit of a random assignment. And I had to get all the sprites from Alien Breed and put them all on playing cards. And then like design a board around it, which we designed in Unity, which was pretty interesting. Not really sure what they were trying to accomplish with that, but it's interesting. And I made a Mega Man Battle Network board game as well, in Unity. Alright, let's try again. We're going to try and focus a bit more this time. We can try playing as a girl instead. Yeah, that was the idea. It was like... We, d we didn't actually play the game. I think he just showed us a video. And he was like, you can use the sprites, use the, you know, the environment layouts, and then build a... Build an analog game around it, basically, and then get it on, get all the other groups to play test it. It was pretty fun to figure out. Have you played? Oh, I, I take it you have played Zen and Crisis. Bang! How far have you got in it? I don't know how many levels there are. Let's rescue these guys. I'm going to try a bit harder this time. Oh, it didn't save actually. So you see where it says 68,000 in the corner. I actually got a high score yesterday of um, like 140 or something. And it's supposed to save it to the uh, control pack. But for some reason it didn't. Oh, I forgot it's on the Switch as well. I, I think of it as a Neo Geo game more than anything. That's what it feels like. Wow. It plays really well on the N64 though, no slowdown or anything. Feels great on the controller. And I'm already doing really badly. Oh yeah, Mega Drive as well. Mega Drive, Dreamcast, Neo Geo, GBA, yeah. It's insane. Mike Tucker's a madman. I wonder how it'll work on the GBA, because this won't all fit on the screen at once on there. Unless they make all the sprites smaller. Or well, maybe it would actually, because I don't know what resolution this is running at. Alright, let's see whether we can do this boss on one hit. Got some uh, grenades as well. Not off to a good start. Shotgun might be better. I don't think it's reaching. Oh no. The range of the shotgun is not long enough. Let's just ignore these guys. Uh, oh, cool. Well, they make a good team. Oh, my God. Tell Mike to turn the difficulty down a bit. My God. This is only the first boss. I was wondering why I was making different noises there, it's because I'm playing as a girl. Damn it, I've nearly wasted all my lives again on the first boss. Maybe I was trying too hard, I've just got to take it easier. Rank E, that's the best I've ever got. Right. I don't even know what would help really. An extra continue, that'd be good. Don't quite have enough. He's been told by many people. I get it though, it's that old school difficulty. Uh, grenade power, that might be useful. Health limit, might be good. Let's do that, and I'll save some to try and get that continue. I can do it. I don't want to be beaten. I've been playing Resi 4 on hardcore mode as well, and that's kicking my ass too. I'm slowly getting through it. You could have good dexterity using the... Uh, C buttons on this. Uh, 
And I keep forgetting I've got limited ammo as well. Oh yeah, there is a sword as well, if you get right up close to something. I don't think the humans actually give you anything. Not like in Metal Slug, where they drop power-ups for you. That might be a cool uh, thing like you could have done to make it a little bit easier. There's health up there, I think. Yes. Let's slash that slug. Flamethrower! It really is alien. Oh my well, god. When do I get to go in a giant yellow mech thing and just pick them up and throw them out the, out the window? Alright, I'll do one more attempt on hard and then I'll drop the difficulty. I got up to level 3 yesterday. On hard. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, there's a, a spaceship waiting for me at the end. And then one of them will get in the spaceship, and I'll get a game over on the way out off the planet. Or, like Alien 3, I'll make it to the next planet, and then. The girl character will just die in the spaceship and never be heard of again. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. That works. I need to keep dodging as well, I keep forgetting I've got that. This music's amazing. I suppose, unless I oh, it's not ammo, it's a timed thing, is it? The timer's counting down, even though I'm not doing anything. Maybe the extra weapons are timed, and the main ones are ammo-based. Health! I think it's dropping more health than it did before. This is like one of them games that knows I'm doing really badly. Okay, area one boss, I haven't lost a life yet. That was lucky, I think, that grenade. R remove them bullets. Uh. Oh god, don't want to go into him. Oh my god, there's not enough room to get out of the way of anything! Ah. Okay, continue. Hey, I'm doing better this time. Literally just stay in the middle. Uh, I don't want to get trapped! Oh my god, this is tense! Oh, I've only got one hit left! Yes, I did it! D rank! That's the best I've got so far too. Hey, gone mad trying. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Just checking out this game. Xeno Crisis. On the N64. Yeah, like Smash TV style. Ah, oh, I missed out by one. I was just saying, I've never actually properly played Smash TV, so I want to try and rectify that at some point in the future. Uh, what do we want? How about power and... Grenade power? Yeah, grenade power. And I've got six left. I can also get some extra ammo too, cool. Right, we are better set up for area two. The facility. Which again has some rocking music. This soundtrack's incredible. Especially coming out of the N64, this is impressive. Oh, that is not a power-up. 
Oh no. Ah! Too many! Too many! Leave me alone! Oh my god, my hands are getting sweaty. What do I get for rescuing them? Is it just extra points at the end? Health! Give me health. Yes, and I just dodged that as well. I think I'm doing a lot better this time. Oh, I don't want to go back that way. Oh, thank god the enemies don't come back. What is that key card? I think I've found a secret key. Ah, oh, mate, bam, bam again. There we go. Topped it back up. I'm doing a lot better this time. Um, I have Smash TV on the Mega Drive. I know it's not the best. Uh, I think people rate Super Smash as the best, but still a good time. Cool. I've never really played any of them. The closest I've played is Robotron. I used to play that a lot. And Robotron 64 as well, which is really good. I want to use that to blow them up. Oh, it didn't quite work. Get it, all things. Oh, what's this one? Cool. Thank you, thank you. Heavy machine gun. Ah. It almost does sound like the Metal Slug voice samples. Hey, I've made it past the um, the default score. So we're making some progress. As I said, I got to level three yesterday on this difficulty level, so I want to try and at least get that far. And then we can move on to the next game. Alright, here's another boss. Death Viper. Stay cool. I remember this boss being quite easy. He's nearly dead already. That must be because of the... Uh... Oh no. I need that. Oh, what? No, I killed him at the same time! Look at that, there's like one, s one pixel of health left. Not even that, the bar was empty. Watch him die instantly now. I can't believe that, that's that's not fair. I got a D on this one yesterday, so I'm not doing quite as well. Anyway, we made it to level 3, and we're getting a bit more of a cutscene. We interrogated one of the locals and discovered the location of the alien nest. Time to head outside. Get more health. Protection from deadly gas attacks. Do I need to worry about that? Maybe I'll get it just in case. Alright. Area 3. We're outside now. It's lulling me into a false sense of security here at the start. It's got a, some pretty nice relaxing music on this one. Ooh. Nice. I'm running out of ammo pretty quickly with these enemies. Although they don't seem to be that challenging. The bullets fire pretty slowly. Not sure what that one does. I think that's just health. Uh, oh no, there is no map. I thought there might be a map. Do I go up or right? Up or right? Gian says the pixel artist for this game did the art for the early Shantae games. Oh wow! I really need to do some research for this game to find out a bit more about it before I do a video. If I'm doing a video, I haven't decided yet. I just wanted to check it out because uh, it was just too good not to share. Oh, I missed out on that health then. Oh, when I've cleared the stream out, I can read the other comments. What game before? Hello, I thought this was Smash TV for a second. I don't think I know this one. This one is called Xeno Crisis. It's a brand new game for the Nintendo 64, among many other consoles. But this is the N64 version that I'm playing now. 
It is very similar to Smash TV. And there you go, there's a there's a look at the back. Really cool game so far, really enjoying it. Has something gone weird with the music? Oh no, there you go, it's back. I'm not sure what happened there. It was only coming out of one ear. Yeah, what an all-star cast of developers for this game then. Sounds like it was a great team. Have they worked on anything else? You know? Ah. Oh, it's not good using a shotgun on these. Yes, did it. Did it drop something? Oh, it's too late now. Started back in the Amiga days. Cool. I think a lot of people in the UK at least got their start on the Amiga. It does feel very uh, European Amiga style in a way. And the Amiga is something I would love to find out more about. Get a bit more into. Oh, I missed out some health then. Ah! Yeah, have I got one more try? I think I've got one more. Oh no, that's it. One more try? And then we can check out one of the other games I've got. I'll put back on full screen for a second. I'll show you what else I've got. So I've got this one. I don't know anything about this one at all. This is a uh, Game Boy Advance game. Which I've got right here. Called Inky and the Alien Aquarium. Looks like some sort of maze game. Then we have Androdunos 2, which is a game that I reviewed on the 3DS when that came out. This is the Dreamcast port of it, which unfortunately isn't great. And then we've also got this one, Demons of Asterborg. And I did get the special edition for that sent over by the developers, uh, which is back there somewhere. And I've had it for a long time and I promised them I would do something. But yeah, let's try and play it on easy then, I guess. Let's see how, how different this is. Okay, so instantly I've noticed I start off with more health. And there's a lot less enemies. Oh my god, it's a lot less. What happened here? Oh my god, it's almost comically easy now. Maybe it was good to play on hard, just to uh, get to grips with what the game expects from me. And then I can just blast through it on this mode. You love Demons of Astaborg? Excellent. I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Maybe we can play that one next then. Or, what would you guys like to see? Would you like to see Demons of Astaborg? Or would you like to see Andro Dunas? Or would you like to see the mystery Game Boy Advance game? Sound off in the chat. What would you like to see next? If there is a next, I might just end up playing this the rest of the time on easy. I can't get over how good this soundtrack is, too. Wow. Oh my god, it's given me loads of different weapons as well. I haven't had that one before. Let's see whether we can take out this boss. Oh, it only fires three bullets this time. That's a lot easier. I was just checking to see whether I had any grenades, but it doesn't seem like it. Someone on YouTube commented and said they didn't like the way the boss flashes so much. I didn't really notice, but now he's mentioned it, I can't unnotice it. It is pretty extreme. So apologies for anyone with epilepsy. Look away now, I guess it's a bit late. 
but yeah, it was quite extreme. I mean, it's cool. At least you know that he's getting hurt. I hate bosses that don't show whether you're actually causing any damage or not. I don't like these little spiders. I thought there might be only one of them this time, but there's still two. I wonder how this plays on the Mega Drive without the uh, without the C buttons. It must be kind of awkward. Yay! And I didn't even die once. And I got an A rank, wow. Right. <clears throat> it is a lot easier. <coughs> right, let's go on to level 2. Maybe I'll just save up and get the extra continue. Nah, let's, let's go all out. And I've got some faster movement this time as well. It's weird, there's easy and there's hard, and there's no normal difficulty in between. Because this feels a bit too easy in comparison. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do that. If you just stand near them, you can use a knife without getting hurt. Like that. Maybe you have to aim in the same direction. Huh, he didn't say thank you. But yeah! In the later levels, it's still hard. Okay, this is just a warm up then. I love games like this, though. I wish there was more modern games that are just straight up action and they just throw you straight into it. Just, these kind of arcade style games are kind of like a, a dying breed in a way. So it's good that indie developers are keeping it up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Though. Ah! I just threw a grenade and just got given one straight away. Nice. I'll accept. Six? Wow, I've got six hearts, health, whatever you want to call it. There we go. This boss was already easy, but see how how much easier it is on this one. And yes, I did just die. Don't look. Okay, he doesn't fire as many spikes this time. I don't know where the spikes are coming from. Are they coming from his tail? Yeah. Need that. Okay. Still easy. Oh, I got an E on that one though. I guess if you die, you just get an E by default, maybe. No, I got a D on one of them before. Whoops. Okay, health and power it is. And I guess speed as well. Let's see how fast I can go. Oh yeah, that feels better. Alright, this is the annoying enemies. I shouldn't be wasting all my ammo. Got to learn to conserve it a bit more. Okay, it's not so easy from level 3 onwards then. This seems harder than on the hard mode. Okay, we're in clear. Let's keep going down the bottom. Oh wow, that did nothing. Oh, 
Come on, new gun. And I don't need to worry about ammo with the other guns because they're just timed, I think. Alright, let's keep going across. Hey, we found someone. What was he doing here? This would be a great game in the arcades. Imagine if someone like teamed up with NQ64 or something and made modern arcade cabinets for some of these homebrew games. How cool would that be? I think this this would be really fun, like if it had like one of those four player machines like Mercs or something. Imagine that after a few drinks with friends just blasting away at all these aliens. That'd be so fun. I wonder if there is any market for homebrew arcade games. Like on main cabinets or anything. I have no idea. There's a lot of arcade nostalgia, so it might make sense. Very small user base though. Ah, health! Oh, I think I just gained and lost that health straight away. Mario Castle was going to be made into an arcade unit. Oh, awesome. Hopefully that's not completely off the cards, because that would be really cool. Oh, you know what? That would be so good in, like, the, um bowling alleys and stuff that you get today with like the Flappy Bird machines and things. Oh, imagine having a Mario Castle one, complete with the hand motion tracking. Oh, you should see whether you can still get on that. I think I've got further than I did on hard mode. Yeah. Oh cool, that gun reaches all the way to the other side as well. I can just stay here and do this. Ah, cheat mode. The company that was going to do it folded. Oh, that's sad. That's cool though, that you even got far enough to talk about the idea of that happening. Even if nothing came of it. I've got some continues, right? If I didn't keep spending all my points, I would have enough to buy even more continues. Oh yeah, rebound shot. Cool. Are we nearly at the boss? I shouldn't have complained about it being easy. I can't even see myself getting as far as level 4 at this rate now. They really upped the difficulty. After the first two being very much easier. Health. Oh, no boss on that one. Just had to get to the airlock, apparently. More story. We've discovered the airlock, which leads us to the alien nest. Let's crash their party. I did it, I can afford another. Continue. Alright, area four, here we go. Into the alien nest. Is there going to be a giant queen at the end of it? What is that? 
I don't know what that was. I keep forgetting. I keep... Oh, am I not allowed to stand in their blood? Is that an extra challenge on this one? Right, which way? Oh, wow, this music. So good. That was a well-timed grenade. Oh, how do I use this one? Okay, this is interesting. You have to charge this gun up and then you can fire it off. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming to you. I got these guys to take care of first. Hey, give me that! Yes! Oh fuck. Do I go up or right? Let's keep going right. I wish there was a map so I knew if I was going towards the exit or towards treasure. Or Zelda style, maybe you could find a map as you're exploring. But I guess the levels aren't big enough to need one. I always feel like I'm going the wrong way. Alright, nothing in that one. Well, there was that weird orange crystal thing. I'm not really sure what that's for. Maybe I should have bought some more ammo. I want that! Let me have it! There we go, now I can stand back here. No one's going to drop any health. Whoa! Right up behind her. There's some. Oh, I think I lost it straight after I picked it up as well. Again. Moving on. Must be near the end. I'll rescue you. Uh, the one issue with this game on the N64 is the button for the grenades is quite difficult to reach if you're firing at the same time because you have to let go and use the B button. Oh dear, I walked straight into that one. I love the control scheme after all though. Ah! As I was saying, as I walk into that plant on the floor, it's very responsive. I like it. All right, two lives left. Oh, no. Is that it? Oh, I can't go that way then. All right. I took a wrong turn in somewhere. I need to go down and right instead. I don't think I went this way. Yeah, this is new. I hate to think what this level would be like on hard mode. Oh my god. I'm going to try and do it one day, off stream. Yeah, I've got another crystal, whatever that's for. Something's exploding a lot. I can't tell when I'm going to use the sword, or when I'm going to get hit. Maybe the sword should have been the A button, because the A button is the same as the Z button, they just both dodge. Huh, weird, so there wasn't anything over there either. Or did I need to get all of the crystals to go through the door at the end? I bet the door's going to open up now. Yes. Alright, World 4 boss, Cthulhu, okay. It is not the Queen Alien. Okay, I thought they would have something to do with it. Um, is it going to attack me?
Have I found a, a glitch? Ah, oh, okay. It was just a trick. Oh my god, that's not fair! Good job I bought that extra... extra retry. Do not go in the middle. Okay, got it. I will not go in the middle. Oh, there are different phases. Again, it longs me onto a full sense of security. Ah! I I can see why you keep dying here now, Crane. Okay, don't go in the middle. Shoot, I need to get over there. Ah! And I haven't even got any grenades. Ow! I don't even know why I did that. Apparently R is also dodge. See, R should be great. I guess you can change your controls maybe on the on the title screen. Okay, I'm actually getting scared now. Oh my god, how insane will this be on hard mode? Ah! That was close. I don't trust it. Okay, area clear. My drink is finished. Let's go on to round five. That was a pretty cool fight. We destroyed the nest and found Grion barely alive, mumbling something about Alexius. We don't have time to save him. We didn't have time to save him. Alright, so I'll just do that again. Oh, these are actually maxed out now. Cool. Well, I got an extra continue anyway. Area 5. The forest. What's going to happen in the forest? Okay. I'm scared. Something bad's going to pop up. Okay, do not go near that. That's a proximity line. Out of the way! Oh, I couldn't even replace the uh, grenade. Oh my god. I'm stumbling. I need to focus again. Man, I love this soundtrack. I saw earlier that there was a, a vinyl release of it, which is really cool. Not that I have a way of playing vinyl, but I'm actively trying not to get a way to play vinyl because I knew I would get obsessed with trying to collect uh, game soundtracks. Whoa! Okay, that's awesome. I love the rocket launcher. Cool, yeah, hope you enjoy it. I'm having a blast. Pun intended. If you pick it up later, you'll have to drop by on the Discord or something and let everyone know how far you got on it. Okay, that was easy. I like this weapon. Don't need to worry about aiming. There was a homing one as well, but I've only had that once. I like this one too. Just stand back. Is he gonna appear? Yep, there we go. Oh no, I didn't even realise that was something that was gonna hurt me. Uh. Is this version just a straight port of the Mega Drive one? As far as you're aware. I didn't know the Dreamcast one had extras. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the rocket launch is insane. Yes. That's so fun. Shotgun, not so much. You have to really be careful with your aiming with the shotgun. Alright, let's go this way. The shotgun is satisfying though. I'll give it that. Grenade for a grenade, it's a fair trade. Ooh, what's that? Maximum health? Nice! There's a, there's a secret room down here, hidden in the trees. Right, I'd better watch out for that stink bomb thing. I don't know what to call it. Smoke bomb? Call it a stink bomb, it's funnier. There's another one. I know what to look for now. Look at those transparency effects. Oh, they're both medkits and that one was bigger than the other one, so... I should have studied the instruction manual more. Teardrop? I read that as turds drop. Whoa! Calm down. My years of playing Toho were all for this moment. And they are failing me. Oh god, I don't know how to get away from that. Do I need that? Yes, I need it. Yes! <sighs> Alien and Predator in one game. Oh my god. My heart was beating fast then doing that boss. That was pretty fun. Alright, that was a walk in the park. Perhaps the research lab holds some clues as to what's going on. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that again. Just in case. Give myself a bit of leeway. Here we are, in the lab. Now it's reminding me of Resident Evil again. And in the lab. Or I guess... Jurassic Park. What is new this time? There's these annoying little spinning enemies. These are going to be difficult to aim at because they're so small. That's a bit better. Is there zombies too? It is like Resident Evil. Oh my god, no! When they turn into zombies they go faster. That's a cool concept though. Oh. He's already gone. Is he going to transform? I'm focused on taking out the zombies before these annoying spinning things. Okay. Now we can go after the other stuff. Ah! So, as I've never played Smash TV, or Super Smash, how similar is it to this? Is it the same sort of level progression style as this game? I might want to check it out at some point if it's like this, because this is really fun. And what is the best version to play as well, because I know there's a few different ones. Mega Drive, maybe? Two and one. The merchant would be proud. Cleared. 
similar gameplay. Cool. I might already have it. I can't remember. I'll have to look after this. I'm surprised I don't already have it. It's a pretty famous game. Best version would be this. No, it's Is that by using two controllers? Or I guess just using A, B, X and Y as the directions. Kind of like how I'm using the C buttons to play this. God, I thought that was something that was going to hurt me then. It's just the, uh, the point. I was planning to play all the games tonight, but I think this one's taken up like half the stream at this point. Is that something? No, just that. Room clear. Oh, cool. Is the Mega Drive one then where you like hold a direction down and then you face in that direction? And then you can sort of strafe around and shoot facing that way. Hey, finally got the homing missile thing again. I only had that once during this whole game. Maybe I should have bought the ammo upgrade, I didn't get to keep it long. Cool. Yeah, SNES sounds like the way to go then. Unless there's any drastic slowdown issues. Maybe I can try that tonight on one of those retro handhelds that I've got to do a video on. Oh yeah, I forgot he was there. Ooh, new gun! Yes, I like that one too. Second favourite gun after the uh, rocket launcher. Done. Room clear. Yeah, twin joysticks make sense. Was there anything like it on the uh, the PS1 or anything when they got DualShock? Are there any early examples on that? I know there's a, a top-down Contra game, but I don't know whether it has twin stick controls like I'm thinking. Hey, that could be an interesting video idea, the evolution of twin-stick shooters. I bet there's loads of really cool examples. Ah, oh, damn, I was trapped then. Well, I have a continue. My last one. I was right to buy it then. Mm, go away. Get me trapped in the corner. Stole something else. There it is. Whoa, that came up right underneath me. Hey, one good thing about the shotgun, it can take them out in one hit. Medicine. I was lucky it spawned right next to me. I want to download the soundtrack for this game as well. This is such an epic soundtrack. Room clear. What happened to my laser? It lasted like one second. I 
I don't think I changed it. Not intentionally, anyway. Okay, grenade. Let me get to that. I don't really use my grenades much. Maybe I should use them more. Chuck one over there. Oh, I hardly did anything anyway. Is that it? Okay, I went the wrong way, apparently. He loves asking that. Maybe it's like Dark Souls and he's someone who died in this room before me. He's giving me a hint. I do like using the shotgun. It's pretty cool. pretty uh it's pretty fun to have to aim in the in the direction and just tap it and they just explode. They really nailed the uh I guess the non-technical term is the the juice. I don't know what you'd call it technically. The game feel. They just nailed the feel of the game, the control, the responsiveness, the feedback. You know what I'm trying to say. I mean like how the animations react to what's going on, everything feels very responsive. Whoa, why did my light suddenly go bright orange? I'm having some weird issues with these lights that I use um, on the side of my desk. They just light up really bright out of nowhere. Sometimes in the middle of the night as well. Let's see if I can fix it. There we go. Okay, we made it to Area 6 boss. And I'm pretty sure this is where it's going to end. Oh, no! I didn't even see that one. I guess I was just stood too close to it. No! No! Xeno. Okay, there we go. Right, I think I'll end Xeno Crisis there. Give my sweaty hands a rest and let's play... Uh, I was about to say let's play something a little bit less extreme, but let's check out Andrew Dunas, because I know that one's plugged in right now over on the Mega Drive. On the Dreamcast, sorry, so one second and we'll be back with the next game. Hopefully, it won't come up in a second. If I did everything right, it was working yesterday. There we go. I had it on the wrong setting.
Hmm, the frame rate doesn't seem quite right. Bear with me one more second. Uh, we haven't got anything on the screen. No, nope, doesn't like that. Right, let's try this. It looks a bit better. It's also kind of stuttery because of the interlacing. Uh, Let's see what deinterlacing options are on here. That's better. That looks alright. I really need to get an upscaler that deinterlaces. Because it looks horrible on 480i games. I'm waiting for the OSSC Pro, but uh, not enough memory on the VMU. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I've decided to play this one, because just check out this loading screen. It's insane. I don't know why it needs to take so long to load. It's not even a big game. Again, this is a game that's been ported to a lot of different systems. And the 3DS one had a small loading screen, but it wasn't like several minutes long like this one was. Or is, should I say. And while we're doing that, here's the instruction book that comes with it. No colour this time, just in black and white, unfortunately. There you go. And for some reason it starts in French, not English. I guess that's because they're a French publisher. Not for some reason. There's a very good reason. There we go. There's the English one. It's only two short pages. And you do get this, if I can get it out of the box, you get this certificate. It's limited to 3,000 copies. And I have one of them. So not super limited. Let's try and get that back in there. But yeah, look how insane this loading screen is. I actually thought the game was broken when I booted it up the other day. I just thought, oh, my Dreamcast can't play homebrew games. But no, it's just really, really slow. Literally several minute loading screen. I guess in the meantime, I can put the instruction manual back for Xeno Crisis. There we go, it's finally loaded. And yeah, you can instantly see the issue with this. Look how weirdly low the frame rate is. And this isn't just the capture card being weird, this is the actual frame rate. Oh my god, I'm not used to playing the Dreamcast, I just tried to hold it like that. <laughs> I'm too used to playing on the N64. Oh my god. But yeah, this is Andrew Dunos. It's an actual good game. It's just always got different technical issues depending on every version that you play, which is a bit annoying. But the game itself underneath is really good. But the only version I would actually recommend is the PC version. Look how choppy this is, and how weirdly washed out the colours are and stuff. It's almost like a slideshow. I thought the 3DS version was bad, but this one runs at like... This has to be like 20-something frames. Which is really disappointing. I mean, it's okay. It's still responsive. But it's definitely not ideal, and it's not what you would expect from the Dreamcast, either. Or am I being too harsh? 
is this is this reasonable? I feel like the developer bit off more than they could chew with this one. And all these different ports. Like, look how juddery the buildings are in the background while they're scrolling past. Yeah, it's not like it's a really high demanding game or anything. It's a 2D shoot em up. It shouldn't be that difficult. And I get it, Dreamcast. It's not like a modern system, but there's plenty of 2D shooters on the Dreamcast that run at 60 frames a second. And when you reload, there's a weird dead pixel in the middle of the screen. Can you see that? And then it just disappears after a few minutes. And I'm doing really badly. There are different power-ups and stuff as well, which I keep forgetting about. But this was just giving me a headache because of how slow it was running. I was really, really disappointed when I booted it up. Yeah, the original's good, like if you play it on the PC, it's great. And then the Switch version has a few issues here and there, and then the 3DS version was full of issues. And this Dreamcast one seems even worse, honestly. Very, very disappointing. And there's no excuse for them this time. They had an excuse with the 3DS one because they said Nintendo wouldn't let them keep the dev kits any longer because it was right at the end of the 3DS's life. But I don't think Sega's rushing to get any Dreamcast dev kits back. So you can't use that excuse here. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you can change weapons. I think I like this green one. Look how slow this is though. Like, you can only see like the bullets for like four frames before they disappear off the screen. It's it so bad. The game itself is really good though, so it's such a shame. Oh yeah, I can do that special attack to spin those green ones around as well, which is pretty cool. There's that weird dead pixel in the middle again, right? Oh, it's disappeared. Very strange. At least you can't see the level behind this screen. On the 3DS in the corners, the blue was actually cut off, and you could see the level itself in the background. Well, at least this one's 4x3, so it matches what they were actually expecting, you know, to see from it. Well, yeah, very disappointing. And I bought this game with my own money. This wasn't one that was sent over or anything. So, even more of a reason to be disappointed. And it's so annoying because the game itself is so good. Like, underneath all these weird technical issues, there's a really, really great horizontal scrolling shooter. Let's try a different weapon. Oh yeah, I think this is the one that can shoot forward and backwards. Oh, that's not the uh, multi-direction one. Anyway, I think I'm only going to play this one until I die. I probably won't restart it. And then we can check out Demons of Astaborg, which I'm really excited for. Especially now I've found out that the uh, musician is the same guy who did Xenocrisis. That's really cool. There's one level in this game, in the proper version of it, that I always get up to and I get really frustrated because there's hardly any room to move. I think it's level 6, the underwater one. 
it's just so frustrating because there's no space to dodge anything. And I always get that far and then just die every time. Ah, I'm not even going to get this far on this one. There's that weird dead pixel again. Comes out of nowhere. Look how juddery the floor is as well when it was moving diagonally. It shouldn't be like glitching like that as it's moving. Here's the Kirby style boss. I thought they ripped this off from Kirby's Fun Pack or Kirby Superstar. Obviously they didn't, but it does look very similar. Especially when the purple light comes out in the middle. There it is. How is that not straight out of Kirby? And this bit, the way it stops and follows you. It has to be a reference to Kirby. You know what else is annoying about the bosses? I always kill them just before the really cool bit of the song kicks in. I think he's in his final phase. Didn't even need to move. Yay. There we go. Very easy boss. Oh. I didn't even know there was a follow-up. Asta Bros. That's cool. Is it the same style of game? I think... No, it's not that one. That's the one I'm playing next. If you can see it. There you go. I don't really know anything about either of them. I only know about the Game Boy scene. All this is new to me. I know the Dreamcast scene is massive. Especially after being at OLL, there was so much Dreamcast stuff there. Someone was even making Cuphead for the Dreamcast. Although it really wasn't very far on in development. It was just Cuphead running around against one boss. But you couldn't hurt the boss. It was just the sprite. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it depends what people have nostalgia for. I mean, there's a massive um, retro computer homebrew scene. Which, like I said in my video, I have no, no clue about whatsoever. Don't ask me about Commodores or Spectrums or anything. I would like to. It just seems a bit daunting. Whoa, there's so much going on. Ah, I went straight into that. Yeah, Vectrex. I kind of want to get a flash cart for Vectrex. Just because. The only thing I ever play on it is as Asteroids or Minefield. I think that's the Vectrex version. The built-in game. Even the Virtual Boy has a pretty cool homebrew scene. Ah. Yeah, I've seen that Time Pilot one. It looks really impressive. And Super Hexagon as well, yeah. I love that game. I am just mindlessly blasting my way through this. Let's try this front-facing missile one again. Oh, look at the frame rate for them bullets. But at least it's responsive. I mean, it, it is playable. I can't completely... 
I can't completely just be critical of this because there are some redeeming features. But as a whole, I feel like they could have done a lot better. Ah! Okay, down to my last credit. One blast is destroyed. Oh no! Uh, usually in them kind of games, when they charge forward like that, you've got a little bit of a space to stand in. All this game is doing is making me want to play uh, Gates of Thunder instead. I got that recently for the PC Engine. That's a really cool game. Kind of easy though. By the same people that made the Thunder Force series. Now move out of the way. Go back onto the backwards missile. Hope it recharges in time. There we go. Oh, oh it didn't take out the purple bullets. Let's do that again. He must be nearly dead. Yeah, yeah there we go. Dun, 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 dun. I forgot how nice the D-pad is on the Dreamcast. It's a lot nicer than the GameCube one. Oh, I wasn't paying attention then. Uh, let's put... Let's just equal them all out. Well, you can use the D-pad, the uh, analog stick as well. But it doesn't really feel right. I think this is the level I get annoyed at. If it goes underwater a bit, then you'll see why. I need to remember to use that charged up shot more. You can see underneath the ship that blue bar that fills up. That's uh, how long you've got until you can use it again. So it refills pretty quick. Oh, I can hardly see them yellow bullets. They should have made them flash like Metal Slug style. Can I actually hurt him under there? Maybe not. Oh no, that's not fair. Okay, I'm protected on all angles. I don't think it's going to help. I'm not even going to get to the bit where I was telling you guys about. Maybe that's a better one. Okay, now this is where I get annoyed going through these caves. Got to remember to keep using that power up. Uh, and narrowly get through all this and avoid all those annoying jellyfish. Ah, oh, game over. Always a game over there. Anyway, that's enough of that one. That was Andro Dunos. And I won't bother putting my name in because there was no space on the UMD. I've got a bunch of other UMDs that I could use, but anyway. Let's check out Demons of Asterborg, which I think is already in there, so it should just be a case of switching it on and the uh, OSSE should be able to pick it up. Fingers crossed. Or it would have done if I remembered to swap the SCART cable round. I've been looking at the Hydra SCART block. 
which uh, seems like a really useful thing, but it's kind of expensive. Okay, so this is Demons of Asterborg, which I've heard really good things about, so I'm looking forward to playing this one. Let's start a new game. Apparently it also has Metroidvania elements. It definitely has a Metroid feel to it already. With a few um, Mario style collectibles. Down and B, okay. I know how to play games. I've been practicing a lot on this Scarecrow. Use the rolls and quick attacks to your advantage during the fight. Okay, so you've got to roll to dodge out of the way, I guess. Okay, there's no Wonder Boy style down attack. Gareth, there you are! Humph, humph! I like the graphics. The, uh, the animations are really nice. You got Super Monkey Ball Deluxe on PS2 for 50p the other day. Eh, I mean, maybe it's worth a little bit more than that. That's cool, though. What's up? I heard screams. Bohort sent me. Monsters came out of nowhere to attack us. Please help. I'll take care of it and go to safety. Got it. A fatigue? I thought these creatures disappeared a long time ago. You just reminded me how disappointed I was with Monkey Ball Deluxe. Or well, 1 and 2 Deluxe, whatever the new one was called. How they messed up the controls and the camera. Really ruined the game for me. So yeah, Monkey Ball Deluxe on the PS2 you'll have a lot more fun with. Although it only runs at 30 frames a second instead of 60 on the GameCube, which is disappointing. The guards are already there, this is more serious than I thought. I don't see any Metroidvania elements yet. I'm not sure what all these things are that I'm picking up either. Are they money? Is this like a action RPG? Monkey Ball always makes you think of me. Well, that's good. Sega needs to do more Monkey Ball stuff so I can make another video on it. I was playing Monkey Ball on, on this last night, the arcade version. Which was pretty fun. Not quite in full frame rate, though. The bridge has been raised. The bridge has been raised. There must be a way to lower it. Okay. If I jump down there, am I just going to die? Mm. I think I died. Do I have any other attacks or anything? Music, yes. I don't think I've got any other attacks. Okay, I can go in the well, apparently. Let's go in the well. Ghost? Who are you? I'm lost. I'm having trouble getting my memory back. What are you doing here? I guess you'd like to come up to the surface. I have something that could help you, but I need you to do me a favour. A fragment of my memory is near here. I can feel it. Find it and bring it to me. I can't promise you anything, but I'll see what I can do in the meantime. No funny business. I'm not going anywhere. Are they health? I don't know. No double jump or anything. Is that part of the Metroidvania moments? Uh, 
Okay, that's not opening. Oh, it is. Slowly. I think I'm not going to get them, though. Oh, you can hit them. Okay, cool. That's quite Metroid. Um, me the Castlevania bloodlines, I mean. Oops, better hurry up. Uh, I'll just wait up here. Cool. Nice little set piece there. You can tell the developer really wanted to put that in the game. Nice. It plays and feels and looks really good for a homebrew Mega Drive game. I can definitely see why people like this. Weird level design though, it's going back and forth a lot. I can get up there, there we go. Celeste style. Don't throw your arrow at me. Did I just destroy the arrow? Uh, I don't trust that platform. Oh, okay, it was fine. It seems a bit slow though. There's no sort of dash or run button or anything. Or at least not yet. Oh no. Come back. How am I standing on that? Just on my tiptoes. music seems a lot more upbeat than the game. I'm surprised how slow paced this is. From what I was seeing, it seemed like a like a fast paced action style game. <laughs> no, I didn't think you sounded like a creep, don't be silly. I've had much worse comments. Oh no! Have you played it yet? Or did you only just pick it up? Is that supposed to be like a Zelda fanfare? You figured out a puzzle. I made a bridge come up. And we got a scroll. Can I see what it says? Nope. It just says I've got one. Yeah, I was expecting something kind of along the lines of Dead Cells. It is very slow paced. Oh, is that the scroll to give him? You found it! Great! Magic seems to resonate with you. I'm going to keep my promise and help you out. What is this? Magic? I thought only demons could control it. You got more games from like a year ago. Yeah, tell me about it. I want to spend some time just to play games that I've always wanted to play rather than keep just doing new stuff. So maybe I'll do some streams in the future where I just go through some of my backlog. That might be fun. I've been thinking about playing some games for the PS1 recently because that's a system that I kind of missed out on a lot as a kid. So if you've got any PS1 recommendations, let me know. My memory has been altered by a blue demon of incredible power. The people of Astaborg are in danger. We must act quickly. 
A blue demon? Could it be? I must warn Bohort. <laughs> Hurry, Gareth, you're the only one who can stop this. How do you know my name? Who are you? I can't tell you too much, Gareth. A lot of my memories are lost. My instincts tell me we will meet again. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Wait, 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 wait! You can now use the magic spear spell to destroy enemies and some obstacles. For that, use the magic button. You got this great idea to get a load of PS3 games that you missed because they were cheap and you overkilled yourself. Oh dear. What were some of the interesting PS3 games that you got? Oh, am I supposed to time it to go over there? Maybe. I want to try and get up there. And you're getting all Wii U games. Are you going for a complete set? Oh, maybe I can't do that. Complete Wii U set isn't too hard to get, I don't think. Rage, yeah. That's... I never played it, but it kind of got mixed mixed reviews at the time, didn't it? Okay, we can make some progress. There's an angry... Ah! I like that. He swore at me when I killed him. Can you go in the doors? Nope. Oh, am I going to have to come all the way back across up here? Okay. Oh yeah, is Dead Cells any good? I saw someone... Uh, someone mentioned Dead Cells. I saw the Castlevania... DLC came out for it recently. I've been tempted to try that. I did Red Dead 100%. That game got you hooked. Wow, awesome. I take it you've played Red Dead 2 as well then. There was a similar game to that that I always wanted to play on the GameCube and Xbox called... Oh, I can't remember what it was called now. No, it's gone. Dead Cells is great, a really amazing roguelike, though quite a difficult one. Oh, Gun I was thinking of. The GameCube game that reminds me of it. Has anyone ever played that? Yeah, I enjoyed Hades, so I might be tempted. I never really liked the idea of roguelikes, but then when I play them, I kind of get addicted to them, so... I have a love-hate relationship with roguelike games. I'm not really sure what I think about this game though, it's definitely a lot slower than I was expecting. I was expecting like a Castlevania style game, but it just seems to be weirdly winding levels with puzzles in them. Which I don't mind, but it's not what I was expecting. Like having to constantly go back on yourself. I thought it would be a bit more linear. Oh wow, it only takes one hit. Okay. I don't know, what's everyone's opinions on this game? Doesn't bode well. Hey! Maybe I'll like it. Let me know. What game had you hooked that you thought was something else, so didn't play it at first? Hmm. I guess for me that would be the Kingdom Hearts games. I was always put off for them for years because I just thought it was just Disney stuff. And then I got it and I found out it had its own completely like separate storyline and it was just a really fun action RPG. Um, when the text fight appears on the screen, you must defeat all the enemies in the room to continue. Okay. Then I will do that. Ah, oh, that's what I gotta do to kill them. Okay, that was easy. I'll ask the same question for everyone in the chat. What was a game that you at first were put off playing, but then when you played it, you really enjoyed it? And why? That'd be really interesting to know. 
I heard the guard say that he was imprisoned here. He won't pay for what he did to my mum. Okay. Die, demon. Oh, that's a bit rude. Thank you, young fool. I have freedom. No wait, ah. I don't know what's going on here. What happened? Where's the demon? Gareth, where did it go? Dark Souls. Yeah, I have a similar thing with Dark Souls as well. Although I could never really get into it. It's just too time consuming. Trying to memorise everything. Not that I think that's bad, because a lot of the games that I enjoy, like, I guess Mega Man and stuff, are kind of in that vein, where you've got to replay the levels over and over to get used to them. Yeah, Dark Souls takes some getting used to. My friend Jack's obsessed with Dark Souls. I know he wants me to play it. Ah, cut me. Me cut little man. I see, no need to argue. Do I need to do something with that switch? Need to do anything? I realised I haven't even figured out where my health is yet. Can I shoot up? Oh, I can shoot up. Oh no. Oh, don't know where, why I lost the signal then. Don't know why I have to. straight up. Ah, there we go. What did that do? Okay, now we have some boxes. There's something up there. Okay, is it going to come back? Aha! 50! And then I can go down and hit him. Cool. Come this way. I think I have to keep jumping, else he's gonna fire that axe and send me flying off the floor. Come this way! I get him to move over. Ow. Oh, I can go on that side as well. Damn, I'm being so stupid. Hey, it's getting late, okay. I'm tired. Ah. Uh, I don't know how much health I've got. Oh god, that almost hit me on the head. I'm not doing this right. So, get him here. Don't get stunned over there. Come this way a bit. 
Oh, I didn't think I was close enough for him to hit me then. Is there a game on the SNES or Mega Drive you keep thinking about going back to but never do? Um, I would like to finish Lufia 2 at some point. I've played the start of that game so many times but I've never finished it. Well, let's try again. Hey, that worked. I can't remember what I need to do to get that other box to come down. Wait, I seem to have made it easier. Yeah, somehow I've made it easier. Oh, now the other box is down. Um, I'm trying to think, what are the SNES or Mega Drive games do I want to go back to? I would like to play through F Fantasy Star 4 at some point. Bohort and the others, I hope they're okay. Love and complete. I like that jingle at the end of the level. Pretty weird winding level design though. Ah, I knew there'd be a shop. Hello traveller, wanna buy something? Yeah, okay, take a look. All the grindy RPGs. Yeah, that's why I never go back to them, because they're just too long-winded. Um, I would love to play all the way through Final Fantasy VI as well. Maybe I'll do that on the Switch with the Pixel Remasters. Uh, one additional life. Magic. Magnificent glass. Use it to see the health of enemies. Unlock the aerial down attack. Increase your basic combo. Cool. And I don't have enough for any of them yet. One-time super attack. Let's try that, and I've got 65 left. I can buy an extra life as well. Oh, they're 300. I'll save up for them. There we go. Any games that you guys always want to go back to but never do? Um, okay, Fields, I guess. Doesn't give me the option. Vagrant Story, yeah. I've got Vagrant Story. I've hardly played it though. Again, where am I going to find time to play these RPGs? I don't know. I should have played them like 10 years ago when I was at uni. When I actually had free time to play stuff. I really want to. There's a load of PS1 games that I want to play. I want to play um, Symphony of the Night as well. It's infested with monsters here too. Uh, these ones look tougher. I'll have to be careful. He doesn't look that tough. He can barely stand up. Yeah, Divinity is something I've been thinking about playing as well. Now it's on the Switch. But again, it's a big time sink. I need to, like, take a year off YouTube to just enjoy playing games again. I've still got Xenoblade 3 that I was super excited about, and I haven't even turned it on yet. I am really upset because I was supposed to be getting Advance Wars. I'd pre-ordered it, and it still hasn't shown up. It was meant to arrive on Friday. So I might have to try and get my money back and buy it somewhere else. Huh. 
Yeah, don't even... Don't even think about that, it's impossible. If you add up all the books you want to read, all the games you want to play, all the films that you want to watch, you need like a hundred lives just to get through everything. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Whee! Oh, uh, yeah, that's the problem with multiplayer stuff. If you don't all live together, it's always really difficult to plan sessions and stuff. Which is why I enjoyed being at uni so much, because I was just in a house with gamers and we could just play what we wanted when we wanted, pretty much. We actually played a lot of N64 back then. What platform do I play? Uh, a Mega Drive at the minute. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really have a preference of platform. Just whatever games I have on my list, I guess. Um, I've been playing Resident Evil 4 Remake on PS5. That's my most recent modern game, anyway. And Fire Emblem Engage on the Switch. This game is on the Mega Drive. Oh no! There you go, it's this game here. Not quite what I was expecting, I was expecting like an action platformer, but this is more of a slower paced, methodical kind of game. Not sure what I think about it so far. What do you guys in the comments think? Do you like this game or not? I have to say, the, the sprite work and the animation is fantastic. Any games you'd recommend to co-op? Um, well, my girlfriend really likes Resident Evil, so we've played through Resi 5 and 6 a few times together. That's always fun. Dead Space 3 was another one that we played all the way through. Trying to think what else. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of these level designs. Why are they so, like, twisty? And why is there no, why is there no run button? Oh yeah, Dragon's Crown would be a good one. I want to play that at some point. I love the animation, yeah, especially on the main character. Oh. There's not that many co-op games these days, is there, really? You sort of have to go back to the PS3 360 era. Oh, that was close. I've wanted to play Dragon's Crown for a long time. I loved Odin's Fear. Muramasa, I wasn't a huge fan of. It was okay, but it wasn't as good as Odin's Fear, in my opinion. And 13 Sentinels as well, I would love to play that. There you go, that's another modern game that's on my to play list. 13 Sentinels. This is very Castlevania with all the cogs in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of puzzle co op games, but there's not really that many action co op games like there used to be. I feel like there was a lot of them in that era, you know, on that generation. Compared to the PS5 where there's like literally nothing. We've got two controllers, we haven't found a single reason to use both of them yet. 
Are you alright? This mill seems to live by itself. I had to jump between bombs, but I'm fine. How are you doing here? I feel the presence of a memory fragment in the surroundings, but I can't locate it. Can you help me? I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Uh, okay. Uh, the path splits up. Oh, okay. I can't go down there, apparently. Can I not redirect that cannon? I guess not yet. This door won't open without a key. I don't really see what's Metroidvania about this. There doesn't seem to be any unlockables or really blocked off pathways apart from that one area there. Is that not going to break? Missing something? That's just the same cutscene again. Yeah, you know what? The next stream I do, I think I'll go back and play some games that I've always wanted to play but never found the time to. Maybe I could do a new series on YouTube where I go back and take a look at something in my backlog and give my thoughts and opinions on it. That might be fun. And it'll give me a reason to actually play some games instead of just reviewing new things. Actually play some games that I've wanted to for a while. I'm completely stuck. Has anyone got any idea what I'm meant to be doing here? Must be something to do with this. Can I just stand on it? What am I missing? I haven't got any projectiles, it won't let me fire anything. I must be out of magic. Abilities. Maybe I need to go back and get some. Can I get some from here? I don't know what to do. All these rats give me anything? They're giving me numbers. I don't know what the numbers mean. I feel like I'm just going the wrong way now. Hopefully I haven't soft-locked it by not having any magic. Be great to do an A to Z on a system. I haven't got that much time. What do you mean? Like, one game from the alphabet or something? That could be fun. I might have to give up here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, yeah. Top picks for every letter of the alphabet. Can I get up there? No. Must be something to do with this cannon. How do I angle it differently or something? Do I hit the cannonball?
Oh, I thought I was onto something then. Can it even hurt me? Okay, it can hurt me. I might have I might have played a game with every letter of the alphabet. Maybe. Okay, seems like I still don't have any um Yeah, it is it is getting more difficult to find and buy games that I haven't already got or played. When I go to these gaming markets, it's getting a lot more expensive. Uh, I'm completely stuck here. I don't know. Oh! I managed to get through it. You have to hold down. What's the point of the, what's the point of that then? Am I supposed to be trying to destroy things? They don't seem to be doing anything. What's the point of that? I don't understand. It just makes them shake a bit. Are they changing direction? Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's making them change direction. I just didn't notice. Oh my god. You can tell I'm tired. Oh. No, now I have to direct this bomb. This isn't what I signed up for. Come on then, you're gonna drop another one? Oh. Oh. Okay, it won't explode until I'm on that part of the screen. It just waits until I can see it. Okay, fair enough. Now right, we got the key! Yay, we can finally get through that door. go back and speak to that ghost guy again. This game just seems like a lot of busy work to make any meaningful progress. Back we go. Here's the fragment. You look like a person I can count on, thanks. Let's see. Arthur, yes, everything is clear now. The blue demon is up to something horrible. He must be stopped as soon as possible. Otherwise, the sacrifice of the legendary hero will be for nothing. The one who locked the demons in our lost dimension and saved people? Yes, that's right. We have to act quickly. I'll teach you the barrier magic. It will protect you from enemy projectiles. Use it to get out of here. Yeah, I'm getting kind of bored of this, honestly. I thought it'd be a really cool, like, hack and slash... Castlevania style game, but it just seems like a puzzle platformer. I mean, it's it's okay. It's competently programmed, but it's not very exciting. Huh. Okay, that's how that works. Damn, how do I get that? Probably too late now.
Oh, that's how you get it. There we go. Got the treasure. Ah! I thought I would have to deflect it. Uh, do I just have to wait? Oh, jump on the vines. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I get what I have to do. I feel like whoever made this game didn't really know what they wanted the game to be. Did they want it to be a puzzle game? Did they want it to be an action game? Did they just want it to be a platformer? Alright. I'm dead. I'm probably going to end it there. I'm feeling quite tired. I might just go for a bath, I think. But thanks for joining me. It's been a while since my last stream. Uh, sorry I didn't get around to doing the last game. I was pretty much falling asleep then. So <laughs> we'll save this one for next time. This, this one's called Inky and the Alien Aquarium. So thanks everyone for joining me. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Take care, everyone. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.